Tales of the Neon Sea. Hopefully, this one goes better. I totally forget where we are. That's why I've kind of been apprehensive to to play this game again because I don't rightly know uh, what we were doing. Uh, but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay. What was my... Um... Okay, my tasks. Locate the virtual tour guide on Miracle Street. Record, restore cannon. Side tasks. Give the love, let, love letter to Hideyoshi in Night Flower Town. Find the three missing showgirls. Aote, Maletti, the Memi. Okay. Sex place. It's a place for sex. Only high level VIPs can enter Tang City. You want one of them? So get out of here now. That's Tang City. <laughs> No policy. No pass, no entry into Mao District. Thank you for your cooperation, sucker. The cops here aren't very nice. Excuse me, lady. Are you from the Rainbow Club? Excuse you. Can't you see I'm having a pleasant conversation with this gentleman? Long silver hair. This must be one of the missing showgirls. But she's busy chatting with the virtual salesman. I wonder if I can find a way to shut him, shut him up. I mean, yeah. An antique spring lock system. This takes me back. I need to push each of the locks back into place to open it. Okay. Crap. Get him. Let's just, you know, kind of rightly f this up. Damn it! Can't even trust virtual salesmen to stick around nowadays. We were just. We were talking just a second ago, and now he's gone. And now here I am. How convenient. What? You want to chat with me, mister? Francesca asked me to take you back for a rehearsal. What? Am I not allowed to come out for some fresh air? I can't believe she sent you to find me. Well, do you want to talk instead? Yeah, why not? I guess a shabby old guy like you must might be desperate enough to stick around. No offense. What shall we talk about then? I saw you talking to the salesman from Ingles and Entertainment. Do they have good products? Come on, you're not jealous of a program, are you? Forget about him and come party at my club instead. Thanks for the offer, but... Uh, you should have a look. Apart from our dance performances, we have other programs and services as well. I'm a little rusty at this. Well, what shall we talk about then? Brank. Do you know a robot named Brank? He's the maintenance worker for Cannon. Oh, him? No, I know him. Rumor has it he has a thing for Cannon. A robot and a virtual tour guide. Good match, huh? Now that you're asking, it occurred to me that he came to our club with some bigwig from a gang last week. It wasn't looking too good that day. I'm not into robots, though. It's fun talking to strangers once in a while, but now I really should be getting back to that rehearsal. My stage name at the club is Aote. Just drop my name and you'll get a discount. Okay. Cool. She must be another one. Nope. No? Okay. No point continuing unless I want to talk, walk myself to death, which shouldn't take too long the way I'm going. All right, fine. Thank you. 
I'm gonna ask about the showgirls. Mimeni has medium blonde hair and is a dog person. She always goes to play with the animals at the maid cafe in Nightflower Town. Millette has red hair and is addicted to VR games. She plays on a team down in Nightflower Town. Okay. Okay, so... I'm looking for a dog person... and a VR addicted... person. These circuits are a mess. No wonder it's malfunctioning. If I can connect them correctly, we should be back in business. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. I get it. Hmm. And this one goes like this. So that one's correct. How did I guess that? I don't know. Lucky shot, I guess. This one goes down here. Loop city, dupe city, poop city. Junk. Green. Okay, that should do it. Damn, it's still not working properly. I guess the problem must be with the projection equipment up top. Hey, William, knock it off and give me a hand. Kick, 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 kick. This is my cat. Meow. Meow. So your name is William, eh? It seems you're as smart as you are cute. Hee <laughs> hee. Meow. Meow. Welcome to Miracle Street. What can I do for you? I'd like to ask about your maintenance technician, Brink. Brank. Mr. Brank? He's a good person, very caring. He often talks with me about his dog. But I haven't seen him in three days. I remember he was complaining of a bad headache. He might have gone to see Dr. Edward. Dr. Edward? Ah, I neglected to mention that Dr. Edward opened a private clinic, often seeing robots for free. Robots in the area almost always go to see him when they fall ill. The clinic is located in the C4 district of Nightflower Town and can be accessed directly via Elevator C. Okay, so I gotta go see Elevator C. I don't know where I'm going at this point. Cause this little girl, these these other two um, women that I'm looking for are not nearby. There's nobody to talk to. Nope, that's just the stairwell. Thought the sign was interactable for some reason. <laughs> Stop sniveling and tell me. Do what you... Do you know what you did wrong? <laughs> yeah, I do. Please forgive me, Lola. Ah, it's you. Here, place to take this. I won't do it again. What the... It's your wallet, mister. See if there's anything missing. Yes, everything's here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Don't worry. I'll teach him a lesson. 
<laughs> Special pass for Underbridge. Yes. Thank God. I can finally move on from this hell. It's nothing that way. Not so fast, sucker. Access to the Mao district is restricted. Please show your pass. White pass, confirmed. You are now a winner, not a sucker. Please enter. According to new regulations, Nightflower Town residents are required to synchronize their work and rest times with the new universal clock. Only people with a pass of a certain level can access the elevator. I trust that you'll follow these new regulations to the letter. Thank you for your cooperation, winner. Okay. Nightflower Town. Friday evening. 2140 is the year. There's the VR girl. What happened to my VR partner? He suddenly disappeared. Did he go offline? Ugh, I can't finish this level without him. Damn it, this is so frustrating. Hello there. I don't suppose you happen to be a showgirl from Rainbow Club. Yes, I am. Did my boss send you here to find me? My partner just went offline. Can you please find out what happened? He went offline and caused me to fail this quest. I'm not going to back, back to work until I've completed it. Terrible work ethic. Do you know who where he could be? In the real world, I mean. He likes to play at Diamond Square and Sown C. There's not been a lot of construct or but there's been a lot of construction going on there lately. If he's not there, he's definitely somewhere in Nightflower Town. Oh good. Do you know why everyone calls me Mr. Za? Ha huh, ha. Huh. Is it cuz you like pizza a lot? Currently in on duty mode. No entry to this area permitted. Sucker. Looks like I have to wait for the off-duty mode to go active. Maybe I can help to speed things along. I should go find the clock. Ah, oh, that's why they told me about the clock. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Can use this abandoned workbench to make some items. I don't. All I have is a broken massage stick. That's probably not going to work. Yeah. My head is aching. I need to see a doctor. I need a more advanced green card to go to the clinic. Or, it's written here, accessible in off-duty state. How long am I gonna wait? I remember seeing a giant clock on my way here. I might have something to do with that system. I could probably find a solution there. Um, okay. So we're in C1 currently. That's good to know. Oop, what's this? Cosmetic Melt Gun, a high temperature energy device that is used to fix the facial details of robots. Like there's something under construction ahead. Bot or BTO, whatever that means. High efficiency battery that was produced last year. These batteries are very advanced when it comes to st energy storage. This must be the universal clock I keep hearing about. Taking control of it will make my life down here a lot easier. Let's see. Clock circuit board. If I can get this thing working, I should be able to manipulate the clock. Can't open it without tools. Well, isn't that wonderful? I can make tools. 
don't know exactly what I'm gonna make, but I can just throw shit at a wall and see what sticks. Unpowered laser cutting device. Nice. A cutter made from a massage stick and a laser device, which can generate a stable high frequency and high temperature light blade under a sufficient power source. Well, guess what I have? A sufficient power source. <laughs> laser cutting device. Okay. Nice. Guess who's cutting into that clock? This guy. Looks like someone installed this incorrectly. The light beams need to be adjusted so that the signal reaches both ports. Placing the prisms correctly should help. Oh man. I see. Huh. I'm so confused right now. Okay, so, okay, wow. <laughs> Puzzles, man. This rotates all four of them. Yeah, I'm super lost. Uh, can I just restart this? Let's see if I can... Okay. Alright. So I have to get this guy... No, this makes the most sense is to get this guy over to the beam to split it. In two different directions, right? Okay. Um, and then I gotta get this one over. No. 
Jesus. Okay. So I think I need this one. No, that wouldn't work. I know this is riveting stuff. Um, puzzle solving. Uh... hard time with this. Let me just clear it one more time and start over. Just get my mind right. Get my b juices flowing because uh, we're having a hard time. Any suggestions you feel like leaving in the chat, you know, would be open to them. Okay. This guy has to split the two, but I don't know where. This one... I feel like because we have to get up to the top and down to the bottom. Jesus. Okay, all right. So this one has to be the bottom somehow. Because, okay. Hear me out. I think... No, because this, this doesn't work. Because... This one has to be located up there, and this one has to be located down here to reflect, you know, like that. So this one has to go here in between the two of them to catch the beam and to shoot them up into the opposite directions. So I think this guy is good where he is. That should actually work. Okay. Did I put them in the wrong spots? I did. Okay. I have this one positioned correctly. This one needs to move.
Okay. These two are in position. Now I just have to get this guy over here. Get these out the fucking way. Bam! Did it. Oh, nope. Slightly. Snag. Small snag. Okay, move this guy out. This guy back. Yes! Alright, I'm I'm smart, okay? I can figure it out. Huh, I always was a whiz with a laser cutter. Looks like this area has entered off-duty mode. Should be easier to get around now. I should find Rank in the clinic for more information before letting the gang know. Okay. Um... Let's go down here. See what's up with this. Ah, oh, there's the dog girl. Where are you from? Don't you know the rules? This is my territory. Go collect your rubbish somewhere else. Okay. Hmm? What's up? Surrounded by dogs. Are you a dancer at the Rainbow Club? Francesca's looking for you. Uh, of course. The show's about to start, but I don't really want to go back. Tell you what. There's some questions that have been bothering me. If you can help me answer them, I'll go back. Well... Alright. Are you ready? I will start now. I know dogs stick out their tongues to cool down when it's too hot in the summer, but why do dogs stick out their tongues in the winter? Uh... Um... Let me ask this chick if she knows anything. Well, hello there. A new visitor to our little coffee bar? Hello, I'm looking for Hideyoshi. Is she here? Yes, that's me. How can I help you? Mario asked me to pass this letter to you. He's too busy to come himself. Oh, Oriyama. He's such a lovely man. Thank you. Wow, I can't believe Oriyama could write such sweet poetry. I can't wait to see him again. Great, I wish you two the best. Might as well just ask Hideyoshi something. I'm looking for a robot named Brank. I heard he really likes his dogs. Brank? Ah, uh, yes, he hasn't been here in the past few days. That's quite unusual. Is something wrong? Can you tell me anything about him? He lives in Tisdrict A2, above here. Yes, I remember. It's A2H7. He's a very cute corgi, Ellie, and takes good care of flowers and plants. Has Frank been behaving strangely? Behaving strangely? Nothing really stands out. To be honest, Frank was always a quiet fellow. Hey! Where's my sweet little Hideyoshi? It's that disgusting sicko again. He's been pestering me lately. I'm sick and tired of it. Can you please do me a favor? Can you tell more about... Or I can tell you more about Brank when we get rid of this slime ball. Should I help Hideyoshi get rid of their harasser? I mean, yeah. How can I help? He's pretty skittish, so if you make some noise down below, he should leave. Get going. I'll do my best to hold him off. He's got the police with him. There's something shady going on here. Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Lots of maps of the underground sewage system. Seems quite complicated. Looks like there's something under construction ahead. Up, oh, there's her VR partner. About him. Automatic freight terminal. Interesting. Okay, everything's ready. Now to watch the fireworks. What's going on? Is there a problem? Guard, we must take a look. Hey, Yoshi, wait for me, okay? Thanks so much for scaring him away. He's such a slimy wanker. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm happy to help. Now you mentioned you could tell me more about Brank. Well, Brank often brings Helly here to play. He doesn't like talking very much, but he's always very polite. People here like him very much. Oh, I remembered something that might help you. One time when Brank was drunk on premixed oil, he complained that some gangsters were pestering him and forcing him to do some work that was really upsetting him. Forced to work for gangs? I see. Thanks for the information. I still owe you for driving that idiot away. Thanks again, Mr. Detective. Let's try her dog shit again. Well, it's process of elimination, I have determined. Dogs pant faster when they're nervous or excited, so they also stick out their tongues to calm themselves. That sounds about right. Next, dogs are trained to follow instructions. Can they understand what people say? Uh, okay. Crap. Maybe you don't go through quite so fast. Dogs can't understand language, but they can understand tone. They know what to do when they hear certain tones. What a pity. I thought Lisa really could understand me. Do dogs only eat vegetarian food? Some people feed their dogs fresh vegetables and fruits. Sometimes they see great dogs grazing on the weeds between the old train tracks. Uh, dogs don't absorb vegetable protein. Long-term feeding of fruits and vegetables can often result in death. Dogs may eat grass to clear their stomach, but they, if they eat a lot of grass, they should be taken to the vet for examination. Oh, really? Wow, thanks for the warning. You're pretty smart for a detective. Okay, rude. <laughs> the last person to answer my doggy questions so well was Brank. Brank? You mean the maintenance technician? Do you know him? Of course. He often comes here with Ellie. She's so cute. Oh, sorry. You probably don't know uh, Ellie. She's an absolutely giant corgi. Um, I've never heard of a corgi being described of as giant, so that's interesting. I'm going back to rehearsal. Thank you for helping me with my questions. Walk, 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 walk. Okay.
system. Shit. One more time. If I can't beat it in this one, I'll give up. I made it to 22, so I pretty much, yeah, I pretty much uh, crushed that top score by like a lot. 23.99k bridging Goldfinger. This made this is made of numerous gold conducting blades with high strength oxidate oxidation and conductibility. The best choice of transmitting signals. Unfortunately, the gold isn't for the. Okay. Didn't say really what that was. How do I get to that guy? No point continuing. Game what I got what I came for to come here. This is interesting. What the fuck is this? Son will lead us to fusion. The global conflict started from separation, combining robots and humans. But Son will fuse and fusion will connect, take us to a new land. That sounds like yes, they are the beliefs of the new god. No, he wouldn't use the he would use the holy mark of Basan as his symbol. After the Arthur Forey town case, this symbol was found at a great many crime scenes. These new believers claim to be to belong to the Roverus Church, but I'm not sure there's any connection between them and Noah. Well, it's creepy and I don't like it. Let's see what's on C3. Aha. This must be the missing VR player. Did he just pass out? P player, player, <laughs> player. Oh, what happened? Did I fall asleep? Thanks for waking me up, buddy. I'll continue my game now. Oof, oof, oof. What he said just now is that your scent makes him uneasy. <laughs> D. 
damn. I can't get any information out of him. I'm gonna get an earful when I get back. The doctor didn't take us seriously because he's got friends in high places working for him. If the boss hasn't stopped me just now, I'd have taught him a lesson he wouldn't soon forget. Come on, take it easy. If he really does have connections, using force won't end well for us. Hi, granddad. Get out of the way. Those guys look like gangsters. What's going on? Old hydraulic station zone, Friday evening. Pardon me. Oh shit. I know it hurts, but try to keep still. Fortunately, they are just flesh wounds. These gangs really have no principles. Another patient? You don't look sick. Are you here for a physical? Dr. Edward, I'd like to ask about a robot named Brank. I understand he was a patient here. It seems everyone here is looking for Brank. Some gang members just came asking about him. The gangsters are looking for Brank too? Shit. How are we supposed to know where each patient is? These people make trouble when they get don't get what they want. My poor Edward. It's okay, Luna. Let's see if any damage has been done to the instruction instruments. Okay, but you really should lie down for a while. Can you tell me about Brank? Sure, but I would know... But you know I can't break Dr. Pension confidentiality. What I can tell you is that Brank lives in District A2, which is the staff residence of Fort Bellflower House. He often has problems with dog hair clogging his systems, so he comes to the clinic every week for regular maintenance checks. There's a cafe over in District A3. Dog walkers like to go there. You can probably find some of Brank's acquaintances. Okay, I'll check it out, but I don't expect Brank to be deep... Or didn't expect Brank to be deep with gangsters. There were rumors about him being close to some gang leaders, but I don't know much about it. I do know that those gangsters are looking for him now. Maybe he's on the run. Brank hasn't received his regular maintenance for a few days. If you do find him, please remind him he's due for inspection. Thanks, Doc. If I find him, I'll tell you. What's this? Genetic experiments. This looks like a really old medical journal. What's up, hot stuff? <laughs> After the accident, Edward and I have drifted apart, so... Okay. High dimension memory. This seems like quantum chip storage that simulates a brain for intelligent robots. That's gonna come in useful, I think. Always investigate your surroundings. Finding out Brank's address was a bit of a reward, but if the gangs are also looking for him, it means things are more complicated than I imagined. I'm also interested in what the gang said back at the door. There's something odd about that doctor. So you're the detective looking for Brank. Who's asking, pal? Nice to meet you. My name is Nanko. I am a robot detective. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Charles adopted me and now I live in his workshop. Cool story, bro. I don't care. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm Rex. Charles mentioned you. I heard you're looking for a Brank. Indeed, I am. I understand we share a common goal. I'm investigating. I'm investigating the recent disappearance of some robots. Brank is the latest to have gone missing. I suspect that the gangs have kidnapped him, but it seems that all of the missing robots also visited this clinic. That is a major lead. I tried hacking the clinic's computer records, but found nothing useful. Maybe there are some critical paper documents in there. Need some help? I would suggest the most logical course of action would be splitting our responsibilities. Please find Brank first. There must be a reason why the gangs are looking for him. Here's a Haven level pass card. It's still experimental, so it's not completely functional yet. It can only unlock districts at orange level and below, but that should be enough to get you Brank's address. 
While you investigate Brank's house, I will be working on the clinic. If you find anything, I'll be at Grandfather's workshop. We can exchange information there. Good luck. Nice. in a bad way. Should I help him? Yeah. Looks like we need to find a doctor to help him. <laughs> hey doc, somebody up above might need some of your help. What is it? A robot seems to have passed out up in C1 district. Any chance you could check it out? A robot? Okay, I'm on my way. Luna, you look after things here. I need to step out for a while. What's up, hey, Luna? <laughs> Hi there. Just before the doc ran out, he was gonna show me that robot's diagnosis report. I'm a pers close personal friend of his, you see. Some might say we're like family. Actually, that's it. We're family. Sorry, according to hospital regulations, we can't reveal any information if the patient is not here in person. The doctor is gone, so if I can distract the nurse, I should be able to sneak a peek at Bragg's er, diagnosis. I know this is a pretty dirty move, even for me, but I'm running out of time. Maybe I can get the nurse's attention with this patient beeper. What is it? The nurse is distracted. Now's my chance. Alright. Rank's medical record. Exceptionally high ath arithmetic ability and social competence. A real high-end technician. Several systems clogged with dog hair, likely from walking his dog after work. Angela. It's the missing person that bartender mentioned. Her older sister was destroyed by humans. Didn't he tell me she's out, outgoing and likes humans? Robots have a hard life, too. I can't believe he doesn't have enough money to replace his joints with all the work he does at the airport. A gangster robot? Isn't that the employee who couldn't gain entry before? Why would a technician need a combat modification? Angela and Brank, both missing, and both have records in this medical log. Their serial numbers also end in the same digits. There must be a connection. And that butler robot from yesterday. He had those numbers in his serial code, too. A simil the, similar serial yeah. the similar serial numbers means they were created in the same place, at almost the same time. Could it be a coincidence? Unlikely. I need to keep this in mind. It's important that I look at that file. That was a dirty move, but it was necessary. Try to pop the crap out of my bag. Yes, I finally annoyed, nailed that annoying quest. Thank you so much. I'll head back now. I found all the three showgirls from Rainbow Club. I should back, head back there now.
All three of the girls returned, right? Yes, thank you so much. But there's one last problem. Somebody messed up our lighting system. There's a control station just below us. Could you please adjust the lighting to a rainbow color? Anything for you, ma'am. Oh, interesting. Wow, this is my kind of show. There's the one, there's the one, the dog one, there's the VR one. Ha, diggity. <laughs> Mr. Detective, you are amazing. I could kiss you. Okay. Well, I did all that work. Bye, I guess. Frank's house is supposed to be... You're a stranger, right? This is executive staff housing. Go away. I think that's his house. Because it's got the flowers. Seems like nobody's home. Oh, is that Ellie? I hear a dog barking. Maybe something has happened to Brank. I need to get in there and have a look. There's a special facial recognition anti death lock for robots. It can only be entered after the code is cracked. Uh, okay, I need to fill in every single node to complete the decryption. The route can cross itself, but not overlap. And it can't go through the same yellow node twice. Yellow nodes must be hit in the right order and the route must finish where it began. What? Okay, the route can cross itself but not overlap. And it can't go through the same yellow node twice. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jeez, this is tough. Okay. So they can cross each other, but they can't overlap. I see. And it has to end there, I believe. Interesting, okay. Yeah, oh, it's just reminding me, one has to go to two, one can't go to three. Could us I just don't get it. Like, I have to light up everything. Jesus, this is a tough one. This is, I think, tougher than the one before. so lost Good Lord. I just don't even, at this point, it's so, uh. Welcome to the rest of the stream. <laughs> My brain doesn't work. Fill each node to complete the decryption. The route can cross itself but not overlap, and it can't go through the same yellowed node twice. Yellow nodes must be hit in the right order, and the route must finish where it began. Okay. 
So each each one of these has to be hit, but you don't have to make a perfect sequence. Get it. What am I not doing? Oh, what am I not doing? to end there okay this is easy this part's easy then it goes to there then down then up then down over no because then we end up there well, okay So far, I think this is good. The next part has to be, I have to come across this way. Cause I can't see, you know, so it has to go like this. It says they can cross, which is why I'm starting to... I'm not even sure of this anymore. <laughs> Do I go? If I tried this. Thank you. 
No. We were on to something. But these two are still unlit. Like, that's, that's the end. We can't cross anymore. They can't overlap. Okay. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. Use your noggin. This is why I think I, did, I didn't stream this one. I haven't streamed this one in a while because I'm not smart and I don't like looking stupid in front of people. Uh, God. So I have to go in order, so I can't I can't do like you know can't do like one of these. Uh fuck. What if I just go down to here and then go back up? So I'm thinking if I can somehow get around like th this. No. If I did this. So close, weren't we? I think this is starting to look right. But where did we go wrong? Because so if we go like this, snake our way. Sorry, use my mouse so that you can see what I'm trying to make up. So if I go like this, and I go up to here and then down, and then instead. It's the trick, the thing that's tripping me up is it says that it can overlap. Or it can't overlap, but it can cross. And I'm try I'm thinking that that's like the game hinting me that it's supposed to cross. I'm supposed to cross somewhere, but I just can't figure it out. Oh, this is enraging. Okay. Thank you. 
What if I do... What if I do, like... This! <gasps> Ooh! I think I just figured it out. Yes! Oh! Ha 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 ha! That's using the noggin. Jesus! What the hell happened in here? There's a giant Bassan symbol on the wall. No signs of theft or robbery. Now this is a signature of Noah crime scene, so the purpose of the bunny parcel was to bring me here. But why? Well, I suppose I do recognize these crazy symbols from Noah's old crime scenes. That is a giant corgi. That corgi is huge. Poor boy. What's wrong with this dog? Judging by this poor malnourished pup, Brank's been gone for a while. Poor thing, let's find you something to eat. Brank must have really loved his pup, or should that be loved? A book about the prophet. A truly revealed, revered figure among robots. It's ravenous. Nearly bit my arm off. There's a Noah symbol on the wall. There must be something else in this room as well. Let's have a look. Ta damn! An unreleased po classic poster of the singer Cheryl from one of her shows 13 years ago. She was one of Noah's better known victims. She was killed before that show was even announced. And this poster should have been hanging in Cheryl's dressing room. But all the investigators found was an empty space on the wall where it should have been. So... We have a missing poster from a crime scene 13 years ago, which turns up in a missing robot's apartment. Is this some kind of message for me? The bunny puppet sent me to the other day. Uh, the bunny puppet sent to me the other day also belonged to one of the victims, so that makes two things linking these events to Noah's case so far. A trail of footprints from the bed to the door. The irregular steps suggest a staggering movement. There is condensed fluid near the footprints. Judging from the footprints, someone must have gotten out of bed and walked out of the room in a distortedly stagger. The steps look like one of a drunk or drugged person. There are, near the footprints are strange pools of a coagu coagulated fluid. The footprints are distributed a lot oddly, suggesting the owner had difficulty balancing and walking. This charging device must be must have passed a past record of the robot that used it. Maybe I can find some information here. Let me try. B2 electronic chargeable device. Starting self-check. Incorrect charging. Incorrect supplementary fluid. System loading. Charging power query. Account balance. Low credit account. There are so many overdue bill bills. Oh my god, I can't talk today. There are so many overdue bills. Overdue bills. Looks like Brank is barely making ends meet. 420150. Uh, the recharging device is malfunctioned. Were the wires being yanked, been yanked out? Cor records indicate that at 3.21 a.m. on 17th of October, Brank's charging process was cut off during his sleep and the compulsory awakening function of the computer failed. Ugh. Supplementary fluid. An unknown chemical has been seen in the recharging fluid. The, poor, the user has ignored it. 
The warning on the label advises against adding unauthorized chemicals, but it seems that somebody wasn't paying attention. Or they were. Looks like tank number one has a similar problem. I better take it out for inspection. It's rare to see recharging fluid coagulated like this. Let's take a sample, even though I'm not sure what an analysis will show. Someone injected, injected an unknown nanofluid into the charging device, and it's very likely that the fluid entering Brank's body during the charging process. There's a lot of residue from the robot recharged fluid on the bed, and the ports and tubes have been ripped and torn. Did Brank do this to his own bed? No traces of a fight or struggle, and no sign of damage caused by the dog. I guess this is all the clues I'm gonna get. Now I'll have to try and reconstruct how this went down. I gotta get this chain in there somewhere. No. Hmm. That's probably what I need. Nope. That won't work. those two are right. No, because that's not connected. What if I just... Nah. Let's 
See, that's the thing. This one has to go here, because this is the only one, unless this one goes here. Reset the gears. I think I was right before. This one definitely goes. Unless. This one goes here. So those. Actually, no, they don't touch each other. Uh. Pfft. I think I'm right, this one goes here, because that turns. Okay. And then I need... This one here. Why is this game so heavy on puzzles? <sighs> okay. So this one's big enough. How about this? Dang it. Dang it. get it. Frank put some kind of addictive in the recharging fluid tank. The recharging device set out a warning, but it gave a manual override. The addictive entered Frank's body through the recharging input port. At 3.21 on October 17th, Frank was recharging when he suddenly got up and yanked out the recharging input, which damaged his bed output, outlet in its own input. Frank staggered toward the door in a very strange way, ignoring the fluid leaking out of his body. Frank exited his home and went missing. There is no trace of another person at the scene, so Bank pro Frank probably left by himself, and... If the data from the recharging system's failed force wake-up function is correct, Frank left the room with his body in dormant mode. A sleepwalking robot. That shouldn't be possible. First, the butler robot in the Mrs. Perry case, and now Brank, with the same kind of implanted device. It stands to reason that the implanted device is causing both these robots to act irregularly. Anyway, this strange fluid addictive or additive means to be investigated. It looks like a coagulation of a certain kind of liquid nanosubstance. What exactly does this thing do? Why are you barking? 
Are you talk taking me somewhere? Do you know where your owner is? Should I follow this poor mutt? Let's go. I hope you can help me find Brank. Puppy is barking at something down there. Did Brank come this way? Let's climb down and take a look. Oh man, I don't like being in here. Look here on the wall. It's the same coagulated fluid from Brank's place. I should follow the trail. He must have gone inside here. Safety first. I need to put on a pair of insulated gloves to handle it. Okay, whatever. There's liquid on the other side, but someone must have raised this bridge. To slow a pursuer, perhaps? Damn it, I'll need to find another way across. There's not enough power to start up this equipment. Massive hydroelectric power generator, probably abandoned due to high costs and inefficiencies. Or am I taking crap? Talking crap. The control center should have the gloves I need. Noah's bird face. This scurvity is very rough. Looks like it was drawn in a hurry. Noah's symbol just keeps showing up during my investigation. There's the insulated gloves. Hmm, the construction plans for the hydroelectric power plant district. Blueprints show that the turbine generators were constructed after the district had been completed. Perfect! The operation manual for the water turbine. Ooh, it's hurting my head. The main power equipment goes offline. The backup can be started to supply power to the generator. Attention, backup energy requires an external power source such as a battery. To manually operate the impeller tilt shaft, shaft, use the backup controller installed under the impeller. First make sure the battery is properly installed in the slot on the water wheel and that enough power is being supplied. Okay. To make the water turbine fully operational, there has to be sufficient power supplied to both the axis controller and the battery compartment. I have a battery now. That was close. So I'm not going back that way.
synthetic energy source. The magnetic generator should be able to run on this fuel. trail in here? No, it circles around to the back of this wall. There must be a secret path forward and there should be a switch to open it close by. I need to search carefully. Did something just fall out? Now that's just shoddy workmanship. I hope whoever commissioned this secret passage keeps their receipts. There is indeed a switch and it looks like it's connected to the circuits here. It's all the power be is all the power being set here? A great amount of power is needed to activate the switch, and based on the diagram, the turbine has to be at full power first. Where am I supposed to get it? 
It's supposed to fall out there. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Play for 15 more minutes. It's really must be really fun watching me solve a puzzle. I'm sorry. should have enough power to restore the magnetic generator. diary? Does everyone keep their diary hidden in rubbish heaps now? And why am I constantly rooting through rubbish heaps? They stink. Lost robots to notes. going on in here. Door is locked and it can only be opened with a special key. I ah, see this is where I came in.
body down there. Jesus. We're not gonna explain what the body's doing down here because it's mighty creepy. Damp diary. Did it belong to that dead guy in the water? According to the map, those pipes should lead to a drainage outlet near the turbine. If this is turned on, it can provide some power for the turbine. Like the water is running. I should check the turbine now. Water wheel has started to run again, but there's too little to water to provide adequate power. What do you mean? Two pipes going. Power running underneath here. Okay. How do 
I supply enough power to the drawbridge? Oh, that might be enough. Let's see. Gosh. Well, I might not be solving this tonight. I'm rerouting every power that power that I can from other sources. Well, what if I put this battery back? Yeah, the battery doesn't matter. There's just nothing in here, it's just rubbish. It is 10.30, so I am going to pause here and uh, bid y'all adieu. Thanks for watching. Um, I know it's a lot of puzzles, and I'm not very good at them. Uh, but I hope you at least enjoyed uh, bits and pieces of it. It's a, it's a good, interesting storyline. Um, investigative kind of game uh, not a lot of cat this time unfortunately there's been more cat in the past and we always appreciate when the cat is in it 
Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's good practice for me to do a bunch of different voices, so that's always fun. As always, this is just to promote um, the podcast, uh, Roll Warriors. So if you're not caught up on that, go ahead and get caught up. Um, we're on hiatus now, so now right now is the perfect opportunity to get caught up on all those episodes that you haven't listened to yet. There's like 80 of them. And um, yeah, we've got, we've got a full season one up that's like really super fun. Uh, with our original cast and then season two we're in the middle of right now we're just having a little bit of problems with getting a consistent um group together to meet uh we've had just some like turnover and 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 people who can't do it anymore because of scheduling and their lives and things like that so we're currently on hiatus um working on other things i'm working on the album i'm writing music uh, I'm writing episodes and just generally, you know, honing my craft, taking voice classes, things like that. So good things are in the works and I'm, and I'm doing my best at them, um, upgrading equipment, things like that. Uh, but that's all groundwork stuff that I'm laying down, uh, in the meantime, what's, what's, what's really going to happen is once we get, you know, people back to recording, um, we'll be cranking episodes out for you again and uh you can get back to enjoying it um if you're not following this stream make sure you do uh i I record every tuesday night and i might do some uh bonus streams or some other things like that if you guys are interested um we could just do a just chatting session if um i feel like people are actually engaging with the chat feature uh but uh anyway I, I, I hope you have a good evening, and uh, thanks for joining me.